Brad Layden Johnson here with an email reply. Hello Bradley, I'm currently 5'8", 268 pounds and I'm looking for a regimen to uh, drop a minimum of 60 pounds. I started with intermittent fasting and dropped 15 pounds, however it seems like that has stalled on me. I frequent the gym four to five days a week and I do feel myself getting stronger, but I'm not seeing any results. Any help would be appreciated, thank you. Okay. First of all, what happened when you, I'll explain what happened when you started doing intermittent fasting. You went from eating whenever you felt like it, anything, just seeing food, you know, the seafood diet, seafood eat it, yeah, which is what most people are on, just eating, to, okay, I have to eat within a controlled window of time. Now that is calorie control, to a really small extent, but calorie control. There's only so much food you can eat in a smaller window of time. Just from you thinking about it, that means your calories were restricted, and in doing that, your body lost weight. Of course, that restriction is only slight. Me, I've got a video here of me eating five and a half thousand calories in 15 minutes. And there's no intermittent fasting window that is smaller than 15 minutes. So you can eat more food than any person can burn in a day in an intermittent fasting window. So it worked for you until you worked out how to get around it, which was eat more food during the window. So, um, or eat the same amount of food and just be at a lighter weight, meaning you need less food because your metabolism isn't as high. So that's what happened with your intermittent fasting. Um, it worked out great for you because you paid attention to, to diet to some extent, but then just paying attention only goes so far and you've obviously reached that. What you need now is at your weight, uh, because you are, you're not really that tall, and 268 is, 268 is way above what we'd say and, uh, would be for an average. Obviously you've said you want to lose 60 pounds. Um, you don't even need to be on macros. Now, I would suggest being on macros is a good habit to get into, but you don't need to. All you need to do is execute some more specific calorie control. For instance, I weigh 268 pounds. Let's say you made sure you never ate more than 3,000 calories a day. Uh, now, that's me taking a wild guess at your, your, bas your basal value, your total daily energy expenditure. Um, I would imagine someone that's lifting weights, if you're lifting, let's assume you're lifting weights correctly, you're making really good gains in the gym, you're getting really strong, I would say 3,000 calories a day would have you in a comfortable deficit. Uh, if you were losing too much weight or not losing enough weight, and by not enough weight, we would say, I would generally say to someone, one pound a week is the perfect amount of weight to lose. I would say the upper limit of that is one and a half pounds a week. Somewhere between one and one and a half pounds a week is what you should be using. Because you have more weight to lose, I would say it'd be perfectly fine for you to go up to one and a half pounds. Perfectly fine. In fact, in your particular situation, for the start of your cut, two pounds a week would be fine as well. You'd want to you want to bring that back after like the first 30 pounds and then you want to be when you after you've lost say 45 to 60 pounds you want to be losing one pound a week uh lane norton said one percent of your body uh total body weight lost a week is the maximum you should use i would say about that but maybe a little bit less is perfect for optimal uh muscle uh retention so once you found whatever calorie level maintaining whatever calorie level keeps you at that loss per week just maintain and keep going with that. Now, it doesn't need to be macro specific. You don't need to focus too much. As long as you're getting decent foods, and um, by decent foods, I mean foods that are full, full of uh, various nutrients and your you know, whole foods, the cheaper foods, the simpler foods to eat. Um, they're not going for the fast food options and like the really the high carbs, the things that aren't gonna fill you up, uh, give you as many nutrients as, as, as possible, not gonna fill you up as much, make you more likely to overheat, overeat, sorry. Um, the typical bro foods, that will work fine for you. Now that will only work for a limit and then you'll need macro control. So maybe you wanna start macro control from the offset, but I don't wanna overload you with too much. If you do want macro control, easy. It's all here. Badge method, uh, macro calculator, and diet planner. Use that, it tells you exactly what you put in, um, your fat loss goals, which for you will be a, a controlled cut at the start, maybe even a rapid cut, though I would, mm, yeah, even a rapid cut would be fine for you at the start, and then moving uh, slow, to slower and slower cuts as you start doing better. And you're, really what should happen with you is your calories should stay more or less the same if you're making strength gains in the gym. Um, They'll drip, they'll dip slightly every now and again. They'll fluctuate, maybe, but they should stay more or less the same. There shouldn't be too much change in your calories. In terms of getting stronger in the gym, so you said you go four to five days a week. Don't go so much. Go three days a week. There's my training program here. I'm only doing three days a week at the moment. I'm seeing fantastic strength gains, feeling wonderful. Um, 
it's a good program there to teach you how to lift and how to get much stronger. That can, with uh, a brilliant split of macros, uh, as, as the uh, planner will give you, and a small light like, caloric deficit will have you well on your way. A year from now, you'll be ripped. I'll repeat that. A year from now, you will be ripped if you do those things I've said. Every day stick to your macros, uh, make, every day stick to your macros and every day um, lift heavy as I've described and a year from now you will be ripped. Hopefully there's been some help. Bradley and Johnson at gmail.com if you have any queries or theories or suggestions or anything let me know. Other than that, like the video, like my Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Instagram and of course subscribe. Peace.